Dave Stoblin here. We're talking computer animated movie. I want you to think about it like a flip book. I have one here. I'm going to show you how it works. Um, when you flip the book, you get what looks like moving pictures. But what it's really made up of are individual slides that you just move by from one to the next. So our computer and a movie, animated movie is going to work the same way where what's going to happen, you're going to start with a basic slide and it's going to have a grid and an axis on it and you're going to put a figure in here and I'm just going to make a quick figure, I'm going to make a box and what you're going to do is you're going to start out representing that with a matrix like that and that matrix is what you graph in that picture. So that's going to be your first slide. Then what you're going to do is you're going to do something to this and the things that you're going to do to it are the translation and you're going to do that at least four times and you're going to do a dilation and you're going to do that at least four times and you're going to do a rotation and you're going to do that at least four times and a reflection and you're going to do that at least four times. So, say for example you want to do a translation first. What you're going to do is add a translation matrix. Maybe we'll move it one, in, one in the X and one in the Y. So there's your translation matrix and then you're going to get the image matrix and it's going to be 0, 2, 2, 1 and 1, 1, 2, 2. And what you're going to do then in your next slide is you're going to graph that one. And so now it's going to move, you know, it's going to move here. And so that new matrix representing this image is going to be 0, 2, 2, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2. Okay? So now you're going to take this and maybe you're going to dilate it. So you multiply it by 2 and it's 0, 4, 4, 2, 2, 2, 4, 4. And you're going to graph that in the next slide. Okay? And so now you're figure gets bigger and then that becomes the starting point okay and then you do something else to this maybe you rotate it to reflect it and you get a new matrix and then that graphs here and so eventually you get a whole bunch of slides okay so that's how that part of the process works